Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... That's Dale Chanel's Toys World. And you know what we're going to be talking about tonight. Toya and Eugene Financial Troubles, or is it? All right, we get it from Urban Bell Magazine. The title is Marriage to Medicine Star, Toya Bush Harris sets the record straight about her finances. Yes, she's going to give us a glimpse of some intel on what's really going on with her finances. All right, it says, uh, Toya Bush Harris and Dr. Eugene Harris are tired of people focusing on their finances. Well, you can't be too tired because y'all need a storyline. And that storyline is working well for you all. Even though it's making you look crazy and financially not sound, it's still a storyline to be told, right? So we go on into the article. It says, Marriage and Medicine star Toya Bush Harris is once again in the hot seat on the current season. She and her husband, Dr. Eugene Harris, decided to sell their custom-built home or house. In the beginning, the couple said it was their dream home or their dream house. Toya was able to get the two-story closet she always wanted. And for Eugene, he really enjoyed the pool and the barbecue for friends and family, but they had their children write their names on the house's foundation. So it just seemed as if they planned to live in the house for many years. This is why so many fans of the show were surprised when it was confirmed that they sold the house. To no surprise, one of the first things Toya critics thought was they sold the house because they couldn't afford it. And some suspected that Eugene and Toya are having money problems, okay? Before the house was put up for sale, Bart Webb accused Toya of needing a loan to pay for the pool. This was her response to Toya saying her former townhouse was a whatever apartment. And on the current season, newbie Audrey Curry accused Toya and Eugene of having seven liens they had to pay for with the money made from the sale. Then, of course, Dr. Heavenly Kimes also said she thinks they moved because they couldn't afford the house. Well, Toya addressed all of this in an interview, and she broke down why people should understand that the accusations made don't make sense. Okay? Let's see. Okay, the speculation about Dr. Eugene Harris and Toya Bush continues. Okay? Toya Bush Harris and Dr. Eugene Harris are used to receiving criticism on marriage and medicine. They opened up about owning a lot of money in, in unpaid taxes on the show. At the time, Eugene realized that their biggest bill was the house they were living in at the time. So downsizing would help them get their finances back in order. After they successfully paid off the debt, they went on to buy a custom-built house they believed was their dream home or house. However, they had since sold the house, and they told fans of, of the show that they profited a million dollars. The couple said the move happened because they couldn't ignore the seller's market, and another pe- women and other people in their neighborhood were selling their homes and making a lot of money in the process. So it inspired them to do the same. Regardless, there are people who believe that Toya and Eugene are having money problems. However, they have denied this. Eugene even said he's tired of fans 
trying to give them financial advice when they have less money. And he's over it. However, it's not just fans who keep speaking about their finances. Cast members like Quad Webb and Dr. Heavenly Kimes have also had a lot to say. Interesting enough, newbie Audrey Curry's feud with Toya will worsen later in the season. In one scene, she even accuses Eugene and Toya of not profiting much from their selling their dream house because they had liens to pay off. Toya Bush Harris waited to set the record straight. Well, Toya was asked about the, this during an interview with the Jasmine brand, and when she was asked how people like Quad know about her finances status, Toya said she doesn't. That's the thing, they don't. But I've come to realize that the Quads, the Heavenlies, they just like to talk. They hear a lot of hearsay, even the new girl this season. You've got seven leans. Girl, nobody is giving me a $3 million with seven leans, honey, and we closed up front, she added. So some things are just common sense. It's impossible for you to do any of the things that we've done having bad credit or having no money in the bank. Trust. Anybody that really purchased a home, they know this. You have to have all kinds of reserves with, and, telling, and telling you they are serious about it. We ain't getting a loan from no bootleg bank. Since selling the house, Toya and Eugene have purchased a lot for another custom-built home or house. It should be ready in 2023. Woo-hoo-hoo! Toya, 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 Toya. Honey, all thing I can say, you got a good man and Dr. Eugene Harris on it. Because no other man out there would just run and do the things that you're doing or get in so much debt that you have gotten yourself and Eugene in. Unless you got all the stuff in Eugene's name and then he's just stuck with this influx of unpaid debt. But hey, Toya was holding her own. She was still uh, being very vocal and uh, interesting enough clever enough to get people to have that. Well, maybe she did pay for it. You know, that little question mark. Maybe the uh, heavenlies and inquires really don't know what they're talking about. But you're right. They ain't giving you no house, no loan, unless you got some equity to back up that you can try to keep the house, even if it's just for a year. You know what I'm saying? So, unless Toya and Eugene bought off some people, I guess they will have their house built in 2023. But my whole thing about it is stop moving because you think you're making a good investment and you're going to make some profit off of your custom home you built. Have you thought about the kids? And then you're renting out another high price home. I mean, why you just couldn't stay in, you know, a $100,000 home? You know what I'm saying? And then save all that money, bank all that money. In case hard times befall you. I know it's easier said than done. And I know I shouldn't be in y'all business. But hell, it was out there for me to talk about. And I thought I couldn't talk about it, okay? I don't make or break you. That is true. I should really not, really not even be talking about you. But I am. And I can't, can and I can't, can I can't, can I can't, can And I will. All thing we're saying is, Dr. Eugene, he took his vow serious. When he said, for better or for worse. This child, you have been doing some worse stuff out here in these streets. And you don't even work. Well, I guess you can say you work. You're doing this show. So I guess the majority of the money I'm hoping go to back in the house, paying bills and this, that, and the third. I hope it's just not going on cars, trips, jewelry, and clothing. At least I'm hoping that's not what's going on. But Eugene, you got to start opening up your mouth when it comes to her excessive spending. I mean, if that's what she's doing, call her out on her bullshit. Let her know that this shit is real out here. And the kids don't need to be bouncing from one house to the next. They think they solid. They think they're in a home that says it's going to be there until they go to college. 
and y'all keep uprooting these kids, uprooting, 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 and making no damn sense. I mean, it's almost like you got them in foster care, and you're the uh, caregiver and not the parents. Like, get up and get it right, tiny. Don't move no more. Let these children have somewhere they can claim home. That's all I'm saying, Toy. That's all I'm saying. But they might not really say anything, but then they may do it. You ain't listening to them. It's for parenting. And I get on Eugene and you for that bullshit. But you like it, I love it, and we're going to move on to the next video. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos, guys. And I'll be back for you. Bye-bye.